Welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video by talking about what I found in the stores today when I was out and about. I stopped by a pet food store and this is the food that my cat eats, the dry food, and it is now increased $2.50 for this bag. Very expensive, um, in, in my opinion, but she's, you know, she's a cat. She doesn't eat that much, and she also eats wet food most of the time. I did stop by a big box store, and I have a list here, and I'll go over some of the things that I found. First, I saw that butter, yeah, real butter, was in short supply. They just didn't have much on the shelf in the cooler section. If you did find a one pound container of butter, it was $4. And it wasn't anything fancy, it was just butter. Eggs, one, one uh, dozen small, they were $2.97. There were not many packages of eggs. I went to the sinus medication area and uh, I get Advil Sinus. Again, it was 12 capsules or 12 pills for $11.97. And that's the cheapest I could find it. So I did need some of that. I went to the bread aisle, uh, the clearance section. Actually, it was a clearance rack. They had French bread for $1 still. Uh, they only had two loaves. I did not need bread, but if someone needs bread, that'd be a great place to, to go pick up some. It is just regular French loaf bread. The other bread that I saw started at $2.97, and it was the big box brand, and it went up from there. <clears throat> and that was not whole wheat. That was just plain white bread. Then I went to the yogurt aisle uh, they have yogurt cream cheese some other things uh, cream cheese did not see any cream cheese i did see the price it was two dollars for a package eight ounce package uh, yogurt it was very picked over like i said it could be because it's monday morning maybe the trucks are not in yet um a dollar fifty for one serving of yogurt is rather expensive in my in my opinion uh, and while I was on the cat food aisle, I saw that the cat food that Liza eats, it was 80 cents a can, and it's a small can, and they had multi-packs, and it was still 80 cents a can. There was no price break if you bought a multi-pack. The dry, as again, the dry food, they didn't, eat, they don't even carry this brand uh, or type of dry food for her, uh, but it it did go up $2.50. There was not much cat food, cat litter, uh, especially wet cat food was just wiped out. The dry cat food, they still had some. Canned dog food was not, there wasn't much there. The dry food for the dog, it looked like it was fully stocked. But strange thing is that the cat litter was almost gone. It didn't matter what size, what shape, what kind. It was just wiped out. So people are getting that also. It did increase in price a dollar for 20 pounds, regardless of what kind you bought. It, it, the increase was there. I walked up and down the aisles. There, were there was plenty of pasta. The vegetable and fruit section looked okay. Paper goods, they were fully stocked on paper goods. Uh, not many paper plates though and I did go through the condiments and it was hit and miss funny thing that they would have pickles and then all of a sudden they'd have some strange bottled water sitting, sitting right next to it which didn't make any sense because they have an entire bottled water section like an aisle Anyway, I just wanted to bring you some of the things that I found. Um, again, it's been a long day. My allergies are still acting up. The pollen is still here. I thought it was going to rain. Never did. So, it's hot and muggy outside. And we'll try again tomorrow to see what we see. 
and see what we find. Uh, I, I have a feeling. Oh, and one more thing. The bottled distilled water. <coughs> Excuse me. The bottled distilled water, one gallon jug at the big box store was a dollar nine and now it is a dollar twenty nine so it's catching up with the rest of the stores i th i just think this is a daily thing that they increase the price i did one more thing i did check the lentils of course because i love the lentils uh it was a dollar thirty four a pound now a one pound bag i can't tell you if it's going to go up in the next few days or not again my suggestion is if you see something and your family uses it and it can be rotated, stocked, stacked, or stored, please do it. Please get it. Um, put it in your prepper pantry. Put it in your stockpile. Put it in the freezer. Put it anywhere you can. Make sure that you have plenty of food on hand uh, at today's prices because tomorrow or the next week, uh, especially next week, the price may double. And depending on your budget, you may not be able to go in and buy what you need because the prices are so high. Well, I appreciate you stopping by just for this update on pricing. I welcome all my new subscribers and I welcome back all my subscribers. In the comments below, if you could go ahead and put some things that you found that have increased dramatically in price, Put those notes in the comments so other subscribers might see what's going on in your area. You don't need to put your area. Just put what you found. If, if pasta has gone up a dollar, then go ahead and put the beginning price and the ending price. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I appreciate you stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.